Cooper from Wisconsin. Mr. Duffy, Chairman of the Oversight Investigation Subcommittee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, welcome, Mr. Cordray. Uh, as you know, I've expressed some of my frustration with regard to the lack of compliance with the document requests that this committee has made to the CFPB. Uh, that's with the backdrop of Barack Obama telling us that this would be the most transparent and open administration ever. Uh, that's with Elizabeth Warren indicating that sunshine would uh, flow into the CFPB. That's in regard to the backdrop that you've given with regard to openness and transparency. Uh, it gives us great concern that for a number of our subpoenas, they go back several years uh, and there's been a lack of compliance. As you know, there's been a recent subpoena uh, uh, three months ago that have compiled all of our document requests and we get limited compliance from you. Uh, I want to you, you direct want to your speak attention. to that? Oh, in, a, in a second. Okay. Yeah. You'll have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to direct your attention. You're aware that a report came out from this committee in regard to indirect auto lending. And uh, you would note that there was some documents that we included, uh, quotes in that report, from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Did you provide those documents uh, before this report to this committee? Uh, I can't speak to individual documents. I don't know which ones you're referring to, but what well, I can say the is... The ones in the report. The, I'm, I'm referring to the... Over, over to, the to course the of the last the several years in response to numerous requests. Uh, um, so just direct quote, I want you to, I'd like you to answer my question. So I'm talking about the, the, uh, the report that we did on indirect auto lending, the one that came out on November 24th. I'm sure you read that because you made some calls to the Hill. Did I, you provide those documents to us? I, I can't, at, in, out of context here, place individual documents over the last several years. I know that we've been very responsive oh, no. okay. to your requests. You've no. gotten tens of thousands of pages of documents. So can, and if they're particular so director, ones that you're dire, looking director for, Director Cordray, we'll, we'll I love that you, you could you. send me tens of thousands. You could send me tens of millions of documents. Mm -hmm. If you don't send me the ones that I asked for, the, the, just like Hillary Clinton can send sure. thousands of emails, but if you don't send the ten that are relevant, sure. If, if you want to talk about um, recordings in Watergate, you we, could send hours of recordings, days of recordings, sure. but if you miss a few minutes, it's those that are relevant. We continue so, to work with you on those responses. We'll so be glad I, to continue to work with you I know that you know what I'm talking responses. about in regard to this report. And you know that you didn't send us these documents. And even after this report came out, we've again asked you for the documentation in this report, and you've refused to comply uh, again with our requests. And that, uh, sir, is uh, incredibly frustrating when, again, you've made commitments to being open and transparent. Uh, I continue to be glad to work with you on those, uh, Congressman yeah, Duffy. We, we, Mr. Director, we've been trying to work together for years, mm -hmm. and I don't I still see, am. I still am trying to work with you, and you know, we'll continue to try to work. Working is easy. Give us the documents. Mm -hmm. Send them to us. Send, send okay. us what we ask for. We'll be glad to sit down and talk further. I know our people are talking further. Well, I, I want to just kind of highlight uh, some of the... Well, before, before we go there, I, uh, in the Ally Settlement, let's talk specifically about that. Uh, you use uh, your um, proxy data. Uh, in regard to your analysis on proxy data, uh, what percentage of accuracy do you have in regard to Ally? So it, it depends on... It, look, it depends on what you're talking about. There's different degrees of accuracy for different things. Uh, we, we work to provide a high degree of accuracy in terms of potential charges of disparate impact discrimination under the law as disparate been affirmed impact. by the Supreme Court last so, year. And disparate impact, what, what percentage of accuracy do you have? Again, it depends on what me? we're talking about. Are we talking about the so auto market, the mortgage market? We we're talking, talking I'm sorry, we're talking about auto, that? auto market. Okay, a, a high degree of accuracy. What is a percent? Well, I, I can't give you specific percentages, but if you if you want my staff to work with your staff on so specifics there, we can do that. It's fair to say that you are not 100 percent accurate. Is that right? Um, yes. I don't right. know if anybody's ever 100 percent accurate. So is it but, fair uh, to say that as we can. there are some um, white borrowers who may be included in your uh, analysis that will get checks from the Ally Settlement? So I would say that if you're administering any redress to consumers, and this is across the entire spectrum of what we do, what attorneys general do, what the courts do, yes or no? It is, is always it? possible that redress will so, find its way. So disparate impact checks will go to white borrowers potentially. It, and so, okay, that's fine. There's nothing, that's, nothing uh, unique in this area. Right. So, um, and in your analysis, I'm sure that you saw some African Americans who paid higher rates than the white average, and some African Americans who paid less than the white average. Is that right? What we saw was systematically uh, African Americans and or so are you Hispanic telling, borrowers in certain matters. Is it your testimony that nobody paid less than the white average? Beg your pardon? Is it your testimony that no one paid under the white average, less than the white average? 
I, I don't know that I would say that, but again, okay, it depends so my on question what matter was, we're talking about and what is data someone who paid less than the white average, are they also getting a, dis a disparate impact check? Uh, again, I'm not sure what yes no. matter you're talking about or what data you're talking about, but what I would say is <laughs> Dr. Uh, Cordray, disparate impact discrimination is something that I know has been under are attack you, in certain are, are, are you familiar? Are you, the Supreme Court the time, the time that of the, the gentleman has land. expired. Pursuant to Clause D4 of Committee Rule 3, the chair recognizes the gentleman from Wisconsin for an additional five minutes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You, we're talking about the Allied settlement. You're well aware of that, right? And I'm talking about the numbers that you use for that settlement. So I'm asking you simple questions. Are white borrowers getting disparate impact money? You, you're, you're, you're stonewalling me here. No, you're no. not answering my question. No, no. And Look. I think it's pretty, it's, this is a pretty simple line of questions. If you want to be open and transparent, be it here. If you're not going to give me the documents, sure. answer my questions. Sure. Okay. And so that, that was one that you're trying to waffle on. The I'm, next I'm, question I'm, I'm is. ready to do it. The no, I, well, hold I, on. And the next question sure. is you have individuals who probably, and I, I know this for a fact, paid less than the white average. Do those uh, African American borrowers get disparate impact checks as well? Or are you only sending checks to African Americans who paid more than the white average? Look, if you want to specify someone to me, we can look at it. What I know is that we set up a process here working with the Justice Department, who has experience in these matters going back decades. So, uh, and that is a process that everyone has confidence you, in. So you haven't and sent, it is you, getting I'll, redressed I'll to my hundreds, time. You, you hundreds haven't, of thousands of consumers. Director Cordray, um, you haven't sent me uh, the information on Ally, but we do have the information in regard to Toyota. Uh, this comes from a document dated November 19, 2004. It was initialed by you, and on page, I believe it's 15, uh, is a chart uh, that shows non-subvented uh, African Americans, the total number of affected at 116,500. Okay, if you want to look up, do you have the document in front of you? No, I don't. Look at the screen, you can see that right there. And the number of harm prohibited basis borrowers is 66,000. So it's my reading of this document that there are 56% uh, of African Americans who paid more than the white average and 44% who paid less. Fair enough in the Toyota study? I, I'm not easily able to analyze these numbers. Take you signed of off context, in the document. But, but, you know, go ahead with your questions. Okay, so um, if you want to go down to the uh, subvented African Americans, the number that were affected was 7,559. Uh, but the number that uh, had prohibited uh, or were, were harmed was 2,668. So meaning on the subvented class of African Americans, only 35% paid more than the white average. 65% paid less. These are your documents, sir. Well, so what but I, I would be, say is... I want to be clear. If you're not going to give me the Allied documents, we'll use Toyota. So what, it, what I will say is uh, subvented auto loans can behave differently from normal auto loans, and that is something we take account of in our analysis. That's why I, I gave them both to you. Look at the chart. Yeah. So in this, in this document, you don't show great disparity between African-American uh, rates and white rates. So I, I would disagree with your conclusions there. Uh, we did pursue a matter with Toyota. Uh, we thoroughly analyzed the underlying facts. The uh, automaker lender had access to the same underlying facts. I'll, I'll, I'll reclaim, up, I'm going to reclaim my time. In, in regard to the analysis that you've done, I, I, I find it interesting when the chairman brought up when they did their own uh, statistical analysis on the CFPB, and that would show, uh, based on that analysis, that you pay African Americans $16,000 less uh, than, than white employees at the CFPB. Before uh, the chairman cut you off, I think you were trying to say, but, but, it, uh, it doesn't take into account pay bans. I didn't doesn't know take it into did account I didn't have any job that analysis, right. So you want to make sure that we consider what information you might have that could account for that disparity. Mm -hmm. And so in regard to indirect auto lending, did you take into account credit scores, trade-ins and trade-in values, whether the car was new or used, the amount financed, the length of the term financed? Because this was all information that the auto lenders tried to get you to consider, mm -hmm. but you refused to do it. No, but I, when the role was reversed and Mr. No, Hensley asked you those questions, you wanted to make sure, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, there, there's, I wouldn't, there's I wouldn't agree with that. Information I wouldn't for agree this, with that sir. characterization, but I'd be happy to explain if you want me to. Um, well, I'll just, I, won't, I won't have you explain it. Maybe we'll do it in writing. Um, maybe I'll get uh, okay. some documents from you. I want to uh, pull up another exhibit, or actually, I'm not going to put it up. I'm going to hand you a document. 
Uh, this was provided to us in response to our subpoena uh, number uh, 20 and 22. Uh, this was the only document that is in compliance with our subpoena, and this is in regard to records memorializing the final uh, remuneration plan in regard to Ally. Um, and do you have that document in front of you? No, I do not. Um, I believe you have it. Your staff has it. Um, this is basically a computer printout. If you'd hand it to the director, please. This is a computer printout. This is the only document that you've given us to show us what the remuneration plan is. Could you uh, read this document for the committee so we can understand what this document says in your sunshine and compliance with the committee? Uh, what, what do you want me to do? You want me to just start down here and read? Yeah, read, yeah, read it for page. me. Okay, for official use only. Is that what you would like? No, I, want, I was, I was thinking I'd go to not for uh, distribution. Is compute that? space cap equals 900 period backslash star money sign dash cap on full dash term. What does this mean? This doesn't mean anything. All I know is if you ask for documents in an area, we give you the responsive documents that we can. This is the one that you sent and, us. And it may be, it may be that you aren't in a position to interpret this document. I don't know about that. Uh, are you? I, I'm, I'm not going to read this you document. document. Time of the gentleman you has expired. Time of the gentleman has expired. Pursuant to the committee's rules for extended questioning, the 